Why Deadpool's powers won't heal his face and body Despite being able to heal from the gravest wounds, Deadpool is unable to heal the scaring on his face and body in his recent film appearances. Ryan Reynolds debuted as Wade Wilson in 2009's X-Men Origins, Wolverine before rebooting the character in his signature comedic style in 2016's Deadpool. After Disney's acquisition of Fox in 2019, Reynolds was quickly confirmed to be bringing his iteration of Deadpool into the MCU, which is set to take place in Deadpool 3, currently scheduled for release on May 3, 2024. Deadpool 3 will continue Wade Wilson's story, while also bringing him face-to-face -face with Hugh Jackman's Wolverine from Fox of X-Men franchise. 2016's Deadpool explored Wade Wilson's origin story as the titular anti-hero, briefly touching on his history as a mercenary, his relationship with Morena Baccarin's Vanessa Carlisle, and his vendetta against Ed Screen's Ajax, who was responsible for Deadpool gaining his mutant abilities. The film also introduced audiences to Leslie Uggam's Blind Al, set to appear in Deadpool 3's cast who provided advice concerning Wilson's costume, leading to him sporting his iconic red suit. The suit covers his entire body, hiding massive scaring that curiously doesn't heal, even though Deadpool's healing factor allows him to walk away from bullet wounds, regrow limbs, and even return from the dead. Similarly to his Marvel Comics counterpart, Wade Wilson was diagnosed with terminal cancer in 2016's Deadpool which spurred him to undergo experimentation in an effort to unlock his latent mutant abilities and cure his cancer. Although Wilson's powers were unlocked and he became the suited anti-hero known as Deadpool, his regenerative healing factor curiously doesn't heal the scaring covering his entire body. This question is answered by the fact that Deadpool's cancer hasn't actually been cured, but simply put on pause meaning it is constantly battling with his healing factor, causing his severe disfigurement, which will assumedly still be in place when Deadpool joins the MCU in Phase 5. Many of Marvel's mutants undergo intense physical transformations when their abilities begin to emerge, though few require as brutal of a stimulus as Deadpool. The emergence of his mutation reacted with his cancer and led to his physical transformation while undergoing prolonged torture at the hands of Ajax. During 2018's Deadpool 2, Wilson is imprisoned in the icebox and his powers are blocked. His cancer returned, proving it hadn't been cured, and his scaring was revealed to be completely irreversible. During flashback sequences in 2016's Deadpool that explored Wade Wilson's life in the lead-up to his powers emerging, Ryan Reynolds was able to perform as the Merc with a Mouth without makeup covering his entire body. However, after Wilson's cancer diagnosis, he volunteered to be subjected to Ajax of experiments, hoping the development of mutant powers would cure his cancer and allow him to return to his happy life with Vanessa who he'd abandoned following his diagnosis. After being locked inside an airtight capsule and being tortured by Ajax for a number of days, Wilson's mutation expressed itself, reacting with his cancer and leading to his scaring. A similar storyline unfolded in Marvel Comics, as Deadpool was diagnosed with cancer, signed up to be experimented on by the Canadian government's Department K's new project, Weapon X establishing the first connection between Deadpool and Wolverine. The latter's DNA was placed inside Wilson, allowing his regenerative healing factor to emerge. While Deadpool operated without scars for a short time, his healing factor began to react to his cancer, causing scaring akin to his live-action adaptations. The look of Deadpool's disfigurement has often been a point of comedy in both Marvel Comics and the film adaptations, and this will surely continue in the MCU's Phase 5. Although it hasn't yet been seen in live action, Deadpool's face did heal in Marvel Comics. During 2001's Deadpool penned by Tom Chu, George Ginty, John Holdridge, Dexter Vines, Frank Thierry, and Dave Sharp, Sabretooth convinces Deadpool to join a new and improved Weapon X program. 
Though initially reluctant after his previous experiences with Weapon X, Deadpool agrees and is met with an experimental serum that may enhance his healing ability. Taking a test sample of the serum actually healed every scar on Deadpool's body, gifting him back his old, attractive face. However, as is the case when afflicted heroes try and be healed in Marvel Comics, his scars eventually returned. There have been a number of other occasions where readers have glimpsed Deadpool's true face beneath the scars, but these storylines haven't yet been adapted into live action. However, with Deadpool 3 on the horizon for the MCU's Phase 5, it's possible that Ryan Reynolds could portray a Deadpool sans scars, being able to once again show off his good looks along with his mutant skills. Wade Wilson's debut in the MCU proper is highly anticipated, as Ryan Reynolds will not only bring one of the most entertaining and violent anti-heroes into the franchise, but also pave the way for more mutants to join Deadpool in the MCU.